Waka Waka, what's up? And welcome back to the channel for yet another FC Pr Finch presentation. I almost call myself FC Prince. Don't ask me why. Purple Rain, Purple Rain, I guess. But either way, we are back to the channel and with a something we have not done in a long time. That's right. We are back to part four of our Hot Wheels surprise uh, presentation series. And uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, how this works is the Admiral and I, or my girlfriend, uh, we have a collective collection together of Hot Wheels. We are both uh, relatively uh, fine car uh, fanatics of all types, makes, and models. And Hot Wheels is one of the things we collect for cars that we can't afford in real life. But that being said, uh, whenever we go shopping, you never actually consciously go searching for this stuff. So it always happens when we go shopping at the store and we just say, hey, there's all these Hot Wheels and uh, there we go. So we did actually get to the store this week. And actually this uh, is from a, uh, we've actually had a few stops since then. So this will kind of be on the longer side, but either way, uh, we're gonna get right to it. So we're gonna start off with the emptying of the sack and let's get right underway. <laughs> and uh there we go so let's get right underway here and we'll start off with the 71 plymouth GT gtx and uh hey heads up uh mopar fans because we got quite a few chryslers in here i uh, got the nice 440 on the hood i love the accents uh got a nice deep orange for the action then it kind of gets to a brighter orange and you got the black with the gtx logo uh love the pillars back here just love how thick they are uh front grill done in a nice Chrome looks really good, nicely detailed. Uh, nice chrome for the wheels, and of course, a chrome for the rear page. You got the little exhaust ports coming out the back. It looks really, really good. Nice Hot Wheels logo right there in black. Again, really good looking. Moving on, uh, we're going to get to uh, the Volvo 240 Drift Wagon. <laughs> Again, these things just look hilarious. They're just all bricks and whatnot. You can see the interior peaked out in chrome there. And uh, you got a, uh, I don't know too much about drifting. I do autocross myself. Uh, I don't know too, too much about drifting. One day, maybe. One day, you got a nice glass sunroof up there. And then you got uh, all the interior peaked out in silver. You can see the dash. You can see they went to the trouble to include the little shift knob. That is pretty cool. And then, of course, you got the taillights. They are uh, peaked out in uh, red, silver, and uh, orange or yellow. Then you got the Volvo 240. Really nice detail in the back here. HW Drift, uh, which is what it says right on here. And then, of course, got the uh, yellowish uh, taillights. I think that's a, a, a style thing. Um, and then you got, of course, the silver uh, front grille. So that, of course, looks really good. Nice 240 on the side and that nice red wagon. And uh, yeah, and there you go for that. Moving on to the next one, we have yet another Challenger Drift uh, Challenger Drift car. And of course it says Formula Drift on the back, 426 Mopar. Um, got the logo back here and then of course on the front it says fd let's see uh, what we got here uh i can't see the uh bf goodrich tires and you got the mopar logo on the top love the red and white accent detail looks really good uh the outside of the wheel peaked out in a nice white and then of course nothing other actually they do got an outline for the uh to differentiate the rear uh tail light bar and they got that big wing on the back that big park bench and again i like how they added the black um to the front of the grill that looks really really good right there we got a corvette gasser 62 gasser corvette and this thing just looks cool of course holly equipped firestone bg 327 fast fuels uh got the blower on top with the motor peeking out of the front of the hood the nice white stripe uh red all the way to the back and then of course got a nice spot for the corvette logo Got the tail lights, of course, peaked out a little bit. They're all red. Uh, nice silver for the bumper uh, on the fore and after it. Look at the nice grill detail. Love how that looks. And they got the nice gold wheels looking really good. Chevrolet! Of course, me being, I, I do have a Corvette myself, so uh, I can always get behind just about any Corvette. 
Uh, next up, moving on to yet another Dodge Chassis. See, I told you Mopar fans would love this one. Um, another Dodge Challenger SRT, and this one is uh, part of the uh, Hot Wheels uh, 55 collection. And uh, this, of course, has the nice gold wheels. Gold for the bottom, too, so gold chrome. And then, of course, you got the black. Nice red for the interior. I really love that. That looks really good. Um, then, of course, you can see the uh, grill detail. Got the front snout right here looking all mean. Uh, just looks super cool. Then all murdered out in black except for the uh, 55 and the Hot Wheels logo. That looks really superb there. And then let's get on to the 70 Dodge Hemi Challenger and this I love the color on this unfortunately it looks like uh, you got a little bit of detail peeling right there which is unfortunate but and what do you want I mean it's uh it was a dollar at the uh, store so either way um again black detail black vinyls on the hood uh, I got the Hemi peeked out right there and then of course you got the uh forced induction or the not forced induction but the uh little hood scoop right up there all done in a nice vibrant green mobar no car dodge on the back little hot wheels logo there and again um a nice white outline on the wheel um looking really really good and if you move to the back end you can see like the tail light detail peeked out and you got nice black for the interior looks really superb going to pull out this one next and uh, this is one of my picks um the Pagani Zonda R and uh, uh again I'm I'm I've never been much of a dream car guy because like I don't like to dream of things that I really probably won't be able to obtain but uh if I had to uh the Zonda is probably uh the car that would be my dream car the car that I dream of owning so uh and again we got this nicely peaked out uh we got Let's see uh, something. I can't see the word bracing at the Pirelli for the tires looking really good. Zonda R, of course. It's done in a real, I love this color. It's like, a, it's got like a this kind of glittery, shiny finish. Looks really good. It's a nice deep blue. And then you got some black going across the top. And on deck, you got Pagani right there. Black for the top of those. So look at that. They even went to the trouble with that quad exhaust. Work. That is just too cool. And then you got like this, uh, it looks like a kind of perforated, uh, for the uh, tail light area. It looks really good. Nice gold for the wheels. Again, just absolutely superb. And then you got black for the uh, front splitter area. Looking really, really sharp. Let's get on. Let's get a mullet machine in here. And we got an 84 Pontiac Fire. This one done in a very nice sky blue. Uh, got Trans Am on the side. Uh, got the uh, silver for the wheels and the nice black interior you got the uh t-tops or whatnot and then of course oh i love how they did the firebird logo look at that all nice and silver with a black inlay looks really good got silver on the hood scoop with some additional lighter shades of blue and then going towards the back you have the tail lights peak i got white for the bottom really superb looking for that and then we got a nissan a uh, 96 Nissan 180SX Type X. And this one, of course, has the uh, Hot Wheels 55 detailing. Again, looks really good. The nice gold accents down here. Um, then, of course, you see like the little outline for the headlights. Again, red interior, just like the Challenger. Same livery in Hot Wheels. Um, a little even the gas can detail. Peter. I love this the wing and whatnot. It just kind of swoops back. I always kind of love that about the uh, the 180 uh, and the 240 in general. And then you got these nice uh, tail light details uh, peeked out back there. In fact, the whole rear of the grill is peeked out. And then, of course, you can see the little exhaust tip done in a nice gold, looking really sharp. Gonna go in back. We got the Ford Shelby GT350. This one done in a very nice, vibrant blue. And look, it's again, it's got it's just like the Pagani. Got like kind of that glittery uh, detail. I love it. Got a nice light silver stripe going down. Black for the interior. Got the little side skirts and ground effects. A nice black right here. And then of course you got the silver for the wheels looking really good. Oh man, look at that. They did, they went to the trouble. Got the tail light. Oh, you can see the little snake logo on the back. Got nice red for the tail lights. And then you got the Hot Wheels logo. Absolutely superb. So they actually went to the trouble to detail that. Nice little black flip for the wing as well. And then of course, black for the top. 
Moving on as well, we have a Porsche GT3 911. Of course, a very vibrant red. Nice gold for the wheels. Then if you move to the back, you got uh, the uh, plate done in a very nice silver. Got black going across the taillights. And that nice big GT3 wing. Again, really vibrant. Of course, you got the black stripes going on. Headlights peeked out in a nice black and then of course you got the little porsche emblem right up here really nice attention to detail for that and she's got a little bit of a bent box but uh that's okay we got a toyota supra i think this is our only toyota supra um now i'm not crazy about supras i i've actually never been crazy i know i know i've lo just lost half the hand base here i know i'm i'm not a supra fan by any means um but either way we uh we still collect all kinds of guys. this is done in really nice detail got the three spoke uh wheels right on here again i forget what they call them you can leave a comment uh if you know i always forget what they call those wheels you got oh it do, look at that it's winking it's head that is too cool that is nice attention to detail it's winking it's headlight that is awesome and that that is a flaw of all these cars with the pop-up headlights <laughs> so the other one's probably broken uh they got the nice hood scoops right here uh peaked out in black and then uh louvers louvers i don't care what nobody says i'm gonna say it right here right now louvers need to stay dead i know a lot of people say oh louvers need to come no they, they're they're fine where they are leave them dead uh toyota super done in a nice gold i love that on the back again you got the nice tail light detail detail uh peaked out hot wheels on the license plate looking really really sharp and I've, oh like they even tried to put a toyota logo in really really cool really good looking night i'm not crazy about supers but that one has nice attention to detail Moving on to, yes, I wouldn't buy one, but I do love uh, these Audi wagons. And this is a 17 Audi RS6 Avant, done in a very nice, vibrant green. Green is a color we do not see often enough. I'm going to say that, you know, um, and as a guy, I used to have a green Corvette, Bowling Green Metallic for my C5. And uh, it, it's a shame that green for the Corvettes has always been kind of a uh, redheaded stepchild color. But here we are. Uh, the Germans aren't afraid of it. And uh, this is done very beautifully looking at the Audi uh, logo up here, um, the RS logo, and then you got the Audi logo, and you have the license plate detail, Quattro on the front. They even went to the trouble to give you a headlight detailing. Like, look at that. Uh, you got kind of a grayish uh, black for the interior. It's kind of hard to see. Sunroof at the top nice silver wheels and if you go to the back you got some nice uh you also have the audi rs6 uh detail and they got the license plate and nice tail light details done really really good you see the exhaust ports on the back just looks absolutely superb this is awesome again save the green cars Gonna get right on to yet another challenger. <laughs> we, we got our own collection of challenges. People are gonna think I own a challenger. Who <laughs> cares? Because we could probably get just as much Corvettes. And again, this one done uh, with some nice details. Uh, got the SRT Challenger Hemi with the hood stripe on top. Looking really good. White and black and a nice dark blue that I really love. Then you got Dodge and Hot Wheels on the side with the nice silver outlining of the wheel looking really sharp and then you can see the uh tail lights on the back uh for this kind of of course they got a nice little front headlight detail looking really good and then moving on to the gmc hummer ev that's right we like even the electric ones i know i know i know but actually i do think these are pretty cool i think they're totally unnecessary but pretty cool and uh they went to the trouble to give it nice tail light detail you see hummer on the back looks really good has that rear tail light gmc right there uh it has exhaust ports but i don't see does the actual hummer ev have exhaust ports i don't remember i don't think it does um why would it need them why would you want to fake something like that i don't get it that totally defeats the purpose of what you're trying to sell um hummer on the front written out there got old and that actually really is nice headlight detailing got the big beefy uh tires and uh got the nice uh grayish outline for the wheels looks really good it's gonna crab walk its uh butt out of here Next up, we have the Lamborghini Sien. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. 
um, FKP 37, and I'm, again, this is probably one of those rare super of super cars that I'm just not familiar with, if it even exists at all. Uh, again, really nice orange, though. Love the coloring on this. Got black detailing, as well, just some nice little black accents coming around the uh, headlights here. Lamborghini uh, logo up front, and then if you move to the back, you have those nice uh, fins. Uh, black detailing right over where the engine should be, and then lots of detail um, on the uh, rear end of it with the nice red in the headlights outset to the black, and they got the exhaust ports looking really, really good. Again, not familiar with the car, but I love how this looks. Uh, definitely got a futuristic vibe to it. Gonna get right along to the 92 BMW M3, and of course, the one part of the Hot Wheels 55. Um, I believe we got this from Mariano. So, but again, red interior at the 55. I love the yellow and red hood stripes. That looks really, really good. BMW logo uh, peaked out. Gold wheels, just like the uh, Nissan 180 and the Challenger. Nice Hot Wheels livery, and then coming back again, the gold uh, exhaust tip, and then you got, of course, got that nice M3 wing, and you got uh, the wheel arches in the back looking really good. And lastly, but not leastly, the BMW i8 Roadster. I think this is actually the only i8 we have. I'll have to double check. We got quite a few of these now, but uh, uh, again, looking really good. Just a really kind of plainly done, all all nice silver paint. You got that nice caramel interior. I love that. Yeah, that looks really that is something that looks like that looks like something bmw would do uh front is kind of void of detail but if you go to the back you do get some nice headlight de uh, re excuse me, tail light details and of course bmw logo got the running lights down here looking really really sharp and yeah so that is it for this edition of Hot Wheels Surprise. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, consider giving this a like and also subscribing to the channel. Again, I do try and do, we do try and do these once a month. Uh, we have slipped a little bit just with being busy and all, but hopefully we get back to it. I review a whole bunch of other toys and action figures, so feel free to check those out. Mostly adult oriented, but you never know what can show up on this channel. And that being said, it is time to end. So thank you so much for watching. I have been FC Finch. Good night.